How's it going, everybody? Today I'm going to make a real quick video here just kind of showing um, on these LT1s. They have a water pump coupler here. And there is a right and a wrong way to slip that over the water pump drive shaft. Um, a lot of people online, whenever they're changing this seal out, they just go through and put it on any old way. But you can see here. See, they have that little collar right there on this end of it. That is what goes towards the engine block. So this side is completely smooth. Mine's got a little ring there uh, just from how it runs, but you can actually see that that right there is a little collar. And that, whenever you're slipping that on the engine, is the side that goes towards the engine. Alright, there we go. So, you can see there how those are a little bit pointed on that end. This is the end with the, uh, with the little collar deal. You can see how the splines have a, a point to them or an edge. But if you flip this over, see that? This side they're concave, and on the other side they're convex. So that's why I'm telling you it matters which way you put these on here. And also, um, I just I took this off the old engine, so as you can see, I've uh, cleaned mine out. Took some brake cleaner and a shop rag and cleaned it out. But you may, you want to make sure whenever you're putting this on your new engine um, to repack it with grease because there's a lot of movement there. That shaft, the drive shaft, is moving inside of this coupler and then this is splined into the water pump so there's constant movement there so you want to have that packed up with grease good just to keep from things getting hot and maybe stripping out either this water pump drive shaft the drive shaft on the water pump itself or this sleeve itself so Pack that with grease to help reduce some of the friction there. Just figured I'd make a quick video because I've seen a lot of people that put those on there wrong and they don't really know the difference and I don't know how that is down the road, um, whether that causes problems or not, but I'll throw up a picture here with my uh, in my factory service manual here. Uh, it does show that there's a correct, a right and wrong orientation of this and it shows that that little collar goes towards the engine. Alrighty, hope that helped y'all out. Thank y'all.